everyone, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. Today we continue our Monday Q&A series about RV life. And this week we're gonna answer a question we got over the weekend from a lot of folks. And that's how we set up our outdoor movie night. Yeah, so we posted a picture to Facebook and Instagram of our movie night that we had with our friends out here in the middle of the Ajo Desert. We had a great time and a lot of folks thought it looked like fun too. So we figured we'd share about how we set this all up and how we did it. And the way we started it is with internet connection. We don't have a DVD player or any of that stuff. So in order to stream a movie or a TV show, we need some internet connection. We do that with our T-Mobile hotspot, but where we're at now, we had to use our cell booster also. Yeah, so we had an unusable signal with our T-Mobile before we turned our WeBoost cell booster on, and then we had a strong enough 4G signal to stream from Netflix. Netflix usually doesn't require too much to stream. It's pretty easy. It requires very little uh, data or bandwidth, yeah. I guess. Um, and so we were able to stream, no problem, no buffering in the yep. middle of our movie. Uh, so the WeBoost really came through for us. And the next component that is necessary for us is our laptop because that is what we uh, connect the Wi-Fi to and that lets us uh, stream the movie. And you can also use an iPhone or an iPad yep. or a DVD player if you have it. Uh, and next, the most important part of this whole setup is our Rift 6 projector. Uh, we used our just little tripod that we use for our camera and phones and stuff, and it actually screwed right in there and fit nicely. And then some type of white cloth, if you have a white sheet, or some type of projector screen, we conveniently, our shades in the camper that retract um, our the perfect size for projecting. So we just move one of our indoor shades outside to use as our projector screen. And the best part about the Rift 6 projector is that it's only two cubic inches big. So you can hook it straight up to USB to charge. It doesn't take up much room at all. We often forget we even have it because it's so small. We do. So the next component we use to really get the outdoor movie theater uh, feel going is our Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, we use a Braven speaker and it really projected the sound last night. I was really quite surprised. It has an indoor and an outdoor mode and the outdoor mode lets it project a little bit better and the indoor mode has a little bit more bass to it, um, but I don't think we had any problem with it. It goes really loud and it is a good quality sound. And the last component we use for the movie night is our Goal Zero charging station. So for us, we are pretty bad at keeping all of our devices charged up. The Goal Zero, we can bring this charging station outside, plug all the devices into it so they can maintain charge throughout the movie without it dying on us. And, you know, it really helped out last night. Yeah, and so this isn't something we do all the time, but we love to do this when we're out in the middle of the desert and it's a nice night and we have a few friends around us and it makes for a fun, different change up of activity to do. You know, when you live in an RV, uh, you don't have quite the same camping experience as maybe a tent camper. And so it's nice to be able to do these fun things sometimes. Yeah, and we'll also write a blog post about this to really give you a breakdown description of how we hook all these things up together and what devices we use so you can click the link right here to read the blog post about it but also look in the description section and, and we'll list out those devices as well yeah so hopefully this was helpful and if you want to have any movie nights in the future you will have an idea of how you could get started and please like this video and give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already we'll see you next time later on <laughs>